everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this is another, I always say it, it's another exciting video, but this is also a video that I've been promising. Like I've been teasing my Snapchat fam. I'm sorry y'all, I love y'all, I love y'all. You don't love y'all? No, but seriously though, like I've been talking about this a lot on Snapchat without giving away all the information. And I mentioned it to you guys here on the tube. So we're gonna delve into it today or we're gonna dig on in there and we're gonna talk about this makeup class that I've been taking. I am a freelance makeup artist. I have been a makeup artist ever since like 2010. I've done weddings, I've done photo shoots, I've done proms, I've done celebrity makeup, I've done all types of makeup, okay? So when I started YouTube like in 2012, I still did a little bit of freelancing, but because I didn't have a whole lot of time as far as like working full time, um, doing YouTube and freelancing, like something had to give, okay? And so I decided to let go of freelancing because a lot of times, I don't know if you guys know, but when it comes to doing set work or when it comes to people wanting their makeup done, it's like, oh, can I get you this weekend? Oh, can I get you on Friday? And I just did not have time like that like I did in the past. But I can say that 2017 has been quite different. And it's a trip, y'all, because at the end of 2016, I totally declared that 2017 was going to be great and I was going to be doing some great things and it has happened just like that. But I actually became a makeup instructor at a talent agency and I started doing a little more freelancing y'all. It's almost like I can't get away from it. So I'm like, okay, God, I see you. I hear you. All right. So in the midst of all that happening, let me just, oh, let me tell you this too. So I've never gone to any makeup school, all right? I've never gone to an academy. I've never done anything like that. I just watched YouTube. I played around in makeup. I bought a whole bunch of products that I saw on YouTube. I bought a whole bunch of products that I saw like in the stores that I wanted to try. And I'm pretty much self-taught with the help of YouTube and other makeup artists that I know. So fast forward back to 2017 where we are now, I was actually contacted by Online Makeup Academy. And I'm like, Okay, okay, let's see what this is all about because another thing y'all may not know about me, which is like a fun fact, random fact, whatever you wanna call it, I am such a nerd, okay? I love school. And whatever I'm involved in, I love to learn as much as I can about it. A lot of different things that I learn is just because I've done a lot of research or I enrolled in school, okay? So being the nerd that I am, okay? And being that they reached out to me, I was like, Hmm, you know, like that emoji. Like I was like, maybe there's something to this. Let's look into it. But one thing that I did tell them, I said, here's the thing. If I am going to even mention your school on my channel, I need to take it for myself. And I told you guys on Snapchat, like I integrity means more to me than anything. And I told you guys, like integrity means more than any kind of free makeup, okay? Because integrity is gonna last longer than that makeup. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, and you can become certified. Now I will tell you this, little disclaimer, you do not have to be a certified makeup artist to be a makeup artist, all right? Because like I said, I've done photo shoots, I've done weddings, I've done celebrities, I've done all that and I never had certification, all right? But I do feel that whenever you're certified in any field, I feel as though it's kind of showing that you're validated, you know what I mean? Showing that you did your research or you did your due diligence to make sure that you really know that craft or you really know that skill. So I will say that it's valuable in that sense. So I was like, um, take the class, become certified, why not? So they were like, now, even though we're reaching out to you and you are going to be joining our program, in order to be certified, you definitely have to do the homework submissions. And I'm like, I'm down. Matter of fact, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys saw when I was doing all of the homework and there are loads of videos on there to watch. Some of those videos are like 60 minutes. I'm pretty excited to tell you guys that I am almost done with the class. The only thing I have left to do in the class is to do makeup on mature skin, which you guys will probably see a video. Well, I'm thinking I'll do a video. If you wanna see that, let me know and I'll, I'll get that to you. You. Although it's a little hard, right? Because even if I get someone over 50, like my sister, like she totally doesn't look 50. So it's like, I'm gonna have to like put her ID and block the rest of the stuff out of something just to prove, you know, that she's mature. You know what I'm saying? The manual is 82 pages. They also collaborated with James Vincent. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he is the guy that does the makeup show, makeup show LA, makeup show Dallas, all the different makeup show, like the whole makeup show, okay? So I am gonna show you the kit too, but I'm just trying to give you a little background and I'm trying to answer, you 
you know, as many questions as I can. But listen, if I don't answer all your questions here, then maybe I'll do a Periscope or something like that to where we can like chit chat, you know what I mean? But I will say this, one thing about this class, it is a beginning class, okay? So for me, I literally got access to the class and I was pretty much 70% done like in probably like a week and a half. And it's been, I think almost three weeks now and I have one assignment left. I did the makeup certification test. I watched all the videos. I did all the homework submissions except for one. And I think it's like a total of five homework submissions and I can't even tell you how many videos it is because it's a lot of videos. They talk about skincare, they talk about color correction, they talk about shade matching, um, undertones, um, glamour makeup, bridal makeup, which is why y'all saw that bridal video, you know what I mean? The only thing I will say about the videos though, I really wish that they did some more videos on deeper skin because I didn't see makeup applied on someone of my skin tone, but I saw makeup applied on someone with medium olive skin tone, fair light, fair medium and all that but I would have loved to see someone of my skin tone. So, you know, Online Makeup Academy, if you ever need me, <laughs> I got you. So it's pretty exciting. And I did learn some tips because this is my thing. No one person knows everything. So I will say that I did learn quite a few tips from there, but I will also say that I was able to kind of speed through it because I already know makeup. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm already a makeup artist. So a lot of those things I already knew or I understood. So it was like, got it, got it, got it. They did go into um, the color wheel a lot. They went into color correcting. They talked about the green correctors, orange correctors. Um, it was a lavender corrector, I think. They just went into a lot of things, but I can't go over all the stuff because this video will be like forever long. I will put the link to the class and everything in the description box. And let's get on to the goodies because I want to show you guys what the kit came with. Here are some of the papers that you have to submit with your homework assignments. So they send some of those when they send it to you, but I printed out some too. So these are extra because all I need is one more because I told you I'm almost done. And I will come back or Snapchat or somewhere. I will make sure to show you guys the certificate once I get it because I'm not all the way done. And a couple of items in here I did pick up because I told you guys, I'm super inspired to get back on my freelancing thing. Not all the time, but definitely more than I've been doing over the last few years. So I did purchase a little um, aquaphor. It's basically aquaphor in a balm or kind of Carmex type container because y'all know I love my aquaphor and I want people to know how good this stuff is. So I did buy one. And then I also bought some micellar water because it can act as a cleanser, it can act as a moisturizer, and I believe it can act as a toner. And this was one of the products that they recommended in the class. So I was like, you know what? Let me stock up on a couple. So I picked some up from Target. This was not in the kit. These are just things that I picked up. And then also I got some more duo because I wanted to have one specifically for the kit. And I also put this in there because y'all know, y'all know I love Ofra and y'all know we got to have some banging highlighters on deck, right? So I did put this inside the kit so that I can use it because y'all know I own like all of this already. So I'm like, ooh, I think my clients will appreciate that. Now we're gonna dig into the things that came with the kit, all right? So they give you a brush set, which is not too shabby. It is no name brand. Like, I don't know who the brushes are made by, but it's not bad. Actually, my friend came over the other day and we were taking them out and we were like, not swatching, I almost said swatching, but we were kind of testing them out on our hands and they're pretty soft. So it's not too shabby. And this is what you get. I don't even know how many are in here because I didn't count, but I will put a link to the kit so you guys can look at all of this, okay? So it is a makeup brush kit. And I mean, I'm probably not hurting for brushes, but then again, it can't hurt to have too many. Like you can never have enough, you feel me? And the next thing, which I was happy about, I got another spatula. Y'all know I use spatulas. I don't know what just happened with my voice that very second, but it's okay. But I use spatulas every single day on myself. And as a makeup artist, spatulas are a must. You must have a spatula because when you are applying makeup or when you're not makeup, when you're mixing shades like foundation shades or when you're doing lipstick or whatever, the case may be you need a spatula and I'm struggling getting it out so yeah it's just a spatula y'all see that right and you see me use them all the time but I love this little makeup palette it came with and I don't know what brand this is either but I love the fact that it has 
this little rubber situation right there because I don't have one that has a, a hole right there where I can hold it with my thumb and mix. As I told you guys, they have some affordable makeup in here and they have some high-end makeup in here. Now, e.l.f. is a good brand. They're bomb. Y'all know that I love their blushes. But being that this is like a makeup class that, you know, you're paying money for and you're submitting homework assignments and all that kind of stuff, I feel like, you know, maybe all high-end products would have been the way to go. However, y'all know I'm not knocking drugstore products at all and I'm struggling to get in here too. But this is the palette, the blush palette by e.l.f. and it is phenomenal though. I have some videos where I did tutorials using this product. And then they have a contour palette by LA Colors. Um, it's called I Love Makeup Contour Palette. Again, this is extremely affordable. You can totally get this from the beauty supply. They have Inglot Translucent Powder and I've never used this, so maybe I'll throw this in and get ready with me using new products. But it's a translucent powder, and you know what? I haven't heard much about this one. I've heard about RCMA and all the other ones, but this is new to me, so let me know if y'all wanna see me try that, because I'm definitely intrigued. OMG. I've been hearing about this product right here for years on the tube, so I finally get to try it. I hope it's the one I think it is. This is an Inglot eyeliner gel. And I hope it's number 77 because that's all I hear. But it is number 77. This is the black gel that I've heard so much about throughout the years I've been on YouTube, y'all. So I'm, oh, it has a little top on it. So maybe I'll leave it there until I use it. Maybe I'll bust this baby out for a tutorial too because... I mean, I've heard so much about this, it ain't even no joke. So I haven't even opened this yet because I was really trying to wait for y'all. I promise I was trying to hold off. And so this is a camouflage palette. Let me get on in there. I got to get in. But you see, they are like deep colors. They're not super bright. Now, it doesn't seem extremely pigmented and it's not as dark as what it looks in the pan, but I would have to try it on to see how it works. But I definitely know that this one is not peachy enough for me. But that's why it's a makeup kit, right? For you to use on other people. Okay, now that one's a little more pigmented. A little more pigmented, all right. Well, let's just do the green while we at it. I have to put these to work and see. But these are the camouflage, or this is the camouflage palette by iMagic. Oh, it actually says professional makeup. And then also there is a Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. Now I already own this, so I'm definitely not about to open this because I'll definitely keep this one for my kit. So there you go. This is the Full Exposure Palette by Smashbox, and it actually comes with a photo finish shadow primer. I have this primer, I need to test it out. But this is one palette that I have never purchased throughout like all my years on YouTube and it's been around for at least, at least three years, at least. And so I finally get to test it out and see. But they used it on every single look, so it must be good. But this is what the palette looks like. So, I mean, it can fit all skin tones. You have some mattes, you have some shimmers, and oh, and you got a matte black, looks like it's good. And then you have a nice little chocolate brown, which I'm not gonna swatch because I know there are videos all over the tube, okay? And then, as I told you guys, they did team up with Make It Forever. So you do have, I think this is their lightest shade where you can mix with. And I think they gave us their darkest shade. So you have the lightest and the darkest. So here is the Makeup Forever Foundation Palette. It is number 11. So these are all the foundations that you get in this whole kit, okay? So you got to get to mixing. You need a color, you got to get to mixing. There's one more thing, and this is a lip palette. Now, it does not say who the brand is or who the, who made this palette, actually, but it looks similar to that of like a BH Cosmetics or Coastal Scents or even Morphe. But it is a lipstick palette and that is what it looks like. Now, I don't know what the finishes are on here. There may be some glossy, there may be some matte, I don't know, I didn't swatch any. As a matter of fact, this is my first time like taking it out of the packaging to show you guys. And I think I have one of these already too, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, there's the lip palette, and that was all that was sent in the makeup kit, but I do wanna show you one more thing that I received that I will be adding to my kit as well. This is a Graftobian HD Cream Highlight Contour Dark Palette, and I think this is the deepest palette y'all because they got this color like when I swatched it I was like no that's for real black like seriously so this is what it looks like and I received this from Octoly but I wanted to show you guys because some of these items I am just going to leave in my kit so that whenever I need to do makeup I can do makeup you know what I mean and as it expires I'll replace it and all that good stuff but let me show you this one because I was like whoa look at that 
That's deep, girl. So this is a great way to build your kit. Like just watching this video is showing you some of the things to put in your kit if you're starting out, all right? And there are a few other things that I can't even think off the top of my head that you'll need um, in addition to the stuff that I've shown you. But this is a great start. And just some questions that I may get in regards to this class. Do I feel that, you know, it's worth the money? I feel like they give you a lot of information. They definitely give you a lot of information. Can there be improvements? Absolutely. It's great for beginners. If you're like intermediate to advanced, I don't necessarily know that, you know, it will really benefit you that much because a lot of this stuff, I kind of zoomed through because I already had knowledge of it. You know what I mean? If you're a type of person like you're beginning and you want to get into this makeup artistry thing and you need like like step one, step two, step three, it's good for that because when I say she takes her time and she breaks it all the way down to make sure you understand, that's cool. But I will say this, at first I was like, for real, like, are y'all scamming? Because I'm like, how can you take an online makeup class? You know what I mean? Like you're not in front of a teacher, you're not, you know, communicating back and forth. So I kinda, I was a little iffy about that, but they pulled it off y'all. And also the teacher, I think within 24 to 72 hours, I believe it was, she will respond as far as your homework assignments go. She will give you feedback. She'll let you know maybe things you need to work on or things that she loved and all that good stuff. So I appreciate it. So I definitely got feedback, you know? So that is it for this video. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support and you guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the CQ Beauty. Yeah, CQ Beauty. Beauty.